Okay, as you can see, this is Mount Zion Baptist Church. Uh, actually, this was formerly Piscataway Baptist Church. As you can see, it was founded nearby as Piscataway Baptist Church on 13th of March, 1774. Mount Zion Baptist Church was the first Baptist church in the region. Endeavoring to stop the spread of the Baptist movement, local authorities arrested Baptist ministers John Waller, John Shackelford, Robert Ware, and Iveson Lewis after the first church service for preaching and expounding the scriptures contrary to the law. In 1818, the church moved across the road from this site. The current brick building was constructed in 1854. In 1856, the congregation changed its name to Mount Zion Baptist Church. So just so you know, first of all, about Piscataway, uh, now called Mount Zion, right across, you see where these vehicles are just down here, uh, back that country road, you go about two miles and you'll run right into it on a curve on the road there. And so it still is, is in existence today. Um, in reference to some of these fellows, first of all, you'll notice they were arrested uh, on the day of the organizational service of this church. And as we mentioned, Many of these guys were in various prisons and you could find their names on these signs just scattered everywhere. I'll give you an example. We had no reception. I wasn't able to uh, get the other vehicle on so I just let it pass by. Lower King and Queen Baptist Church, a few miles back the road and just to the south. And you'll find Waller's name on that sign as well and Ware's name on that sign. And they're arrested there for the same exact thing. And then of course Waller is way west of here. We're gonna see his church, Lord, Lord willing, later today. Uh, that was the lower Spotsylvania, and uh, so, you know, we talk about all these guys that were persecuted. So far, if you remember, you know, how many of them there were. We talked about Corbley uh, being in, in reference to the second church that we visited up there for James Ireland, pastor. James Ireland, we talked about Elijah Baker, we talked about John Weatherford. Uh, later on today, we're going to talk about William Weber. We talked about Lewis Craig, talked about Elijah Craig, talked about uh, Samuel Harris. We talked about John Leland. And uh, so we're kind of focusing today a little bit on this guy, uh, John Waller. And uh, so what we're going to do next is if you keep going towards Tappahannock, which is what we're going to do, you're going to find this guy, Waller, and they're arrested here. They're taken to what's, what's known as the Old Debtor's Prison. And the Old Debtor's Prison is right in town in Tappahannock. It's right there where all the government buildings still are to this very day. And so we're going to go down there and visit where they're thrown in jail. Now, when Walter was actually put in jail down there, and I'm not going to say much when we get there, I'll tell you kind of a little bit of a different story, but he felt like he was abandoned uh, by his brethren, and he got very discouraged, and I don't know if we can understand what persecution like this would be like, uh, but he actually got very sick as well. In fact, uh, one, of, one of the imprisonments of Walter, he got sick nine to death, and uh, finally his brethren were able to persuade the jailers to allow him to be released. And so, swearing Jack Waller became John Waller. And by the way, uh, and just, you know, I'm trying to give you as much as I can about the Baptist history and be honest with you. Uh, so, you know, there were debates in the General Baptist Association where they kind of all got together to fight for religious liberty. You had Calvinist Baptists, you had non-Calvinist Baptists. Samuel Harris was one of the furthest things from a Calvinist Baptist, okay? Uh, but at any rate, uh, so this guy Waller, he was, don't ever say he was a Calvinist because he actually went so far uh, towards Arminian doctrine that for a while he got into the error later in his ministry that he thought you could lose your salvation. And then, praise God, he was recovered from that and got that squared away later in his life. And so that just goes to the heart of the fact that, you know, there was, there was a big battle. And uh, some of this is documented, the debates they would have, the Baptists would have debates late into the night. Samuel Harris proclaimed that, uh, you know, the Calvinist side, the Arminian side is what they called them, people who believe the Bible like us, and uh, more of a, a Biblicist position. And they would debate, and uh, of course he would say, you know, that the Arminians won on this occasion or something like that when they would get together for these particular debates. So Waller's just quite a colorful fellow. He's being arrested everywhere, but he's preaching everywhere, helping start these churches everywhere. So we're kind of following a little bit of his life today. And so, you know, he's just another one of those great prison Baptist preachers. His efforts with everyone else's gave us our liberty. So praise God for it.